Hello everyone, I am Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Geneforge 5. Well, we've cleared out everything up here in the foundry. It's time to head south into the Maritev, explore a bit further. I think we might find our way to Mara, that's most likely where we're going to try and get to. I think that's probably the closest city. Or Penta. One of the two. Ah oh, well, for now let's go into White Spire's Pass. Okay, let's see. Ooh boy. As you descend from the white spires, you find yourself becoming increasingly disoriented. The air is not freezing. There is no snow crunching underfoot. For as long as you can remember, which admittedly isn't very long, there has on been only wind and ice. As you walk down this road, you are stunned to find that water can fall from the sky in non-frozen form. From up here, you can see a long way to the south. This pass cuts down through the Maritev, a heavily forested region of Terestia. At the south end of the path, however, you can see a large wall blocking your path. A field of mines has been placed here to help defend against rebels to the south and rogues to the north. When you get close, you see that the sensor antennae of the mine triggers are not swiveling around looking for targets. These mines are not currently active. You can pass safely. And I can't disarm them. Okay. Let's see. Manala north, Meritev south, White Pass in west. Oh, well, we may as well start by visiting the White Pass Inn. Why not? You are standing just outside the ruins of a large inn. Oh. It provided a resting place for the many travelers, merchants, and students traveling to and from the foundry. Sometime in the last few weeks it was attacked. Now it has been abandoned. Though you can't be sure, you have a suspicion that it was abandoned about the time the presence started driving the creations rogue. Oh, there's someone here, though. A lone man has set up a miserable little camp in this recess of the cliff wall. It isn't as cold as it is up in the mountains, but it's still a wet, muddy place to stay. When you approach, he cowers in the back corner, saying, Oh no, not yet! Please don't kill me! Please! Then he actually bothers to look at you. Oh, you're not here to kill me. Oh, maybe the Shapers finally sent someone to help me. I'm Jelinek. I'm the innkeeper. Or I was, until I got kicked out. This is your inn? It was. Now it's full of rogues and a bandit. They attacked. Everyone fled. They're in there still, eating my food and looking for treasure. I tried to get Sergeant Noblet to send a platoon to clear the place out. He's down by the gate, but he won't help me. I hate him. When did the attack happen? Right after all the creations went crazy. I saw right when that happened. There were Fioras chained up outside the inn. They were being taken up to the foundry. They went mad. They hissed and blew fire everywhere. Almost burned me out. People started leaving right after that. The next day, the bandit came. Who attacked you exactly? A bandit. She said her name was Antonia. Some rogues were following her. They did what she said. She wasn't a shaper. She just shouted and they obeyed. I certainly would. They chased everyone out. The ones that didn't get eaten, I mean. Maybe I can clear out your end. He looks you over. I don't know. Antonia said that if I got anyone to drive her out before she'd finished robbing the place, she'd kill me. Personally. She'd hunt me down and... <laughs> can you promise you, keep me, you can keep me safe? I'll make sure nobody hurts you. Really? Well, in that case, go ahead. I'm sick of being out here in the mud. If you clear out the inn and get rid of Antonia, I'll pay you. With money. I promise. Jelinek cowers in the back corner. Sometimes he snivels and sneezes. Camping out here has given him a little bit of a cold. Can I buy something? What? Are you making fun of me? Do you see anything here for me to sell? All my goods are in my inn and I can't go in until I'm sure it's safe. Well, there's something I need to know. What? No offers of help? No liberating my inn from the horrors? Just conversation? I don't need chat. I need someone to kill that bandit Antonia. Leave me be. Alright, alright. We'll kill Antonia. White Pass in. Oh, she's gonna be in here somewhere. We may as well find her and kill her. Oh, there's the rogues. Oh boy! Artila! Hey, Mechan leveled up! Excellent! And the Artila... Aw, oh, come on, Mechan! Uh-oh. Ooh, good. Thank you, Poison. Haha. -ha. Okay, Mechan, you will get... better strength. Because, of course. Oh boy, those are rogues. Hello. Oh jeez, those are stronger rogues. This is gonna be rough. Okay, we can at least kill these two. Ow. Ow. Ha! Okay, kill that one at least. There you go. There we are. You can kill that one. There we are. 
And there. That's those rogues dead. Let's see. Gold ring to sell. Actually, I wonder what's up in there. Oh, I saw another roamer coming down, but we'll get it in a bit. Three living tools. I think we can leave it be for now. Let's see. There's some roamers up there. Ah, okay. Kill them. Kill them, please. Okay. There we are. You hear the sound of doors flying open, coming from somewhere in the inn. Then you hear a woman's piercing, angry voice. She, shout, she shouts, Jelinek, you coward! I told you what would happen if you sent someone in here before I was done! Now stay put and get ready for punishment! If you move, it'll just make me angrier! Oh boy. Quickly, we need to get out there. We need to stop her. Jelinek cannot die. We will wait for her here. Alright, once we see her... Wait, uh, ah, there she is! No, I didn't... There. Kill her! Tonia! You will pay! You are a bandit, and bandits should die. Come on, come on. You're not that bad. You're not that strong. There you go. Aha. Dropped an iron shield. Major healing pod. Yay. And stunning blade. That is... You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll sell the iron short sword. Right, let's just take a look at the rest of what's in here. See what she was doing in here. Gen X office, private. Uh, a couple coins. Let's see. Box containing tunic, pants, studded belt, tunic. And coins, venom thorns, and a bile infused crystal. Alright, let's look through the rest of the. Uh, the rest of the inn back here. Let's see. Ooh. Dead body. Someone didn't manage to get out. Javelin, wooden shield, coins. Must have put up a fight though, I imagine. Unfortunately, it didn't work out in the end. Oh, hello! Oh jeez, there's more of them? Jeez, there's quite a few of these. There we are. Oh, jeez, hello. Jeez. Let's see. An iron short sword. Up in here. Up, oh, another roamer. Hello. Hey, I leveled up again. We're leveling up quite a bit. Level, we're level 15 already? How high a level are we going to end up with? Jeez. Uh, leadership improve. Because I want to. Yes, I know it's stupidly high now, but I want it to be high. I want to be able to use these kinds of things any time. I want to be safe with it. I want an end of 15. I want 10 before I go to the next region to the south. That's when I'll be happy. I killed Antonia for you, Jelinek. Jelinek nods. I am very relieved. Thank you. It was a big help. You wait for him to offer you a reward. It doesn't seem to be coming. You not so gently remind him what he promised. <sighs> That's right. Loot a man out down on his luck. Take all the coins you need to get back in. I need to get back in business. Here. He shows a pouch of coins at you. I hope you're happy. Can I buy something? What? Are you making fun of me? Did you see anything here? Okay. Are you going to reopen your inn now? Well, I could go in there, but I'm afraid you might have missed a rogue or two. They're sneaky that way. I'm just going to wait for Noblet to send some soldiers out to make sure it's safe. Okay, if you say so. I did make sure everything was cleared out, but fine. Uh, let's see. What's out here, I wonder? Ooh. Oh, that's, that's a lot of mines. Let's see what I can disarm. 
That's those disarmed at least. I think I can disarm these easily. <laughs> well, that sucked. Yeah. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, and there's a canister back there. Welp. Oh yes, the first death screen. Mortally wounded, you fall to the ground. Your strange journey has come to a premature end. The war continues for years more. A long, gruesome conflict that achieves nothing but more death and devastation. Your final thought is a sad realization that history will carry on without you. You will never know how this epic tale ends. A sad outcome, and it might have been avoided. Of course, you can always try again. Okay, that took a while, but we're back to this point. Now... Now I know the way we can do this. If we're careful... There. Now, we can disarm these. And there, that's all of them. Now, let's see what's in this cache here. Aside from the canister, which we are not going to take. No canister run. Bags of meal, we don't need them. The various spores were useful, and bars of iron we can sell. Okay, well, we got some decent stuff. Now, back to exploring and looking around here. I have a feeling there's going to be rogues in the south there. Yep, yep. Roamers. Alright. Easily killed, I think. And... Ow. Do you mind? That hurt. There we are. Is there anything back in there? Eh, I don't think we need that shit in armor. I mean, it costs so little. Something is wrong. Someone is missing. You look back and see that Mechan is no longer at your side. She is standing by the road, looking unhappy. Before you can ask what is happening, she says simply, It is time for me to leave you, Lifecrafter. Lifecrafter? But that is what my kind calls your kind. You are not a shaper, but you have their powers. You have the powers of a Lifecrafter. They were shaped into you, probably with canisters, maybe with a gene forge. I can't be sure. How you got those powers, where you came from, these things don't matter. What matters is where you go now. Where are you going? I am returning to my people with the information I have gained. You will have to go learn about the world on your own. Relearn, I mean. I wish I could guide you on this process. Mechan has abandoned all pretense of speaking like a loyal servile. Now she talks like a human. Or a rebel. I am returning at last to the arms of the rebellion. Why do you talk like that? Because I am a civilized, intelligent creature as deserving of freedom and respect as any other. How will you get to the rebel lands? I have certain capabilities. I am free to use them now. I was given enough power to help me to escape. The shapers were detected if I was changed more than that. Who gave you those powers? The Dracons. When I left, my kind and theirs were still cooperating. I will have to see if that continues. I fear it will not. Will I see you again? Perhaps. I will not seek you, but you might find me. If you have come to see the righteousness of the rebel cause in that time, I may even help you. Is there no way I can get you to stay with me? No, I must go and report what I have learned, and I am desperate to be back with my own kind, if only for a short time. I regret leaving you. You have shown signs of fighting for our cause. I would like to stay and encourage you. It is not possible. Farewell then, Mecca. Mecca nods. I only wanted to say one final thing before I go. Your path is not fixed. The Shapers are immoral and doomed, but they will offer you many bribes before they die. Wealth. Power. Resist them. Remember what the, what is right. I'm just trying to survive. I don't know what side to take yet. This is a time of war, Lifecrafter. A calm, philosophical, neutral path will, I think, serve you poorly. But that is your path now, not mine. Until we meet again. She turns and walks off. You move to follow, but a moment later she is gone. She disappeared in the span of a blink. You are alone on the path. Hopefully I will see Mecha at another time. Oh well. She helped us out. Ah, here's the, uh, this must be the fort that was mentioned. We may not be able to go through quite yet. Pass gate. Yeah, we can't go through yet. Very well guarded. We'll need to find... Ah, there's someone. Uh, there we are. An officious soldier is in charge of this camp. He wanders around inspecting the creations in human soldiers. He barks orders. 
When he doesn't think anyone is looking, he raises the visor of his helmet and combs his mustache. When he sees you, he is pleased. For a few moments, he will actually have something to do. He walks over to you, makes a quick note on a scroll, and says, Sergeant Noblet, White, Sp White Spire's Gate, access to the Maritav is restricted. Papers, please! He holds out his hand. Tell me about this camp. Oh no, no distracting me with your cleverness. I need to see your papers. No papers, and you can head right back up the road. I don't have need papers. I work directly for Shaper Rommel. That makes two of us, honey. And Shaper Rommel has made it clear that nobody gets out without papers from Eisenwood Spire. You can beg all you want. I enjoy it, but no going through. Well, I have papers here. He looks at the papers very closely. He reads them, then reads them again. Fixed, most likely, but I can't find the floor I'm sure is there. I have no choice but to unlock the gate for you. Tell me about the Maritav. It is one of the largest provinces in Terestia. A beautiful land named by the savages who inhabited it before the Shapers arrived and took possession of it. Dev meant forest in their language. Its capital is Mara. It has seen considerable warfare over the last few years. Less recently. How do I get to Mara? Take the road south. Once you leave these mountains, Mara will be to the east. Road south should direct you there. Why is there endless fighting here? There are many explanations. Robo fatigue, the terror of Shaper Might, or the possibility that a story of the Counselor of the Maritav is trying to cravenly negotiate a peace with a vile foe. I cannot be sure personally. After all, I would never question or criticize a Shaper. There aren't many human soldiers at this gate, and it doesn't look like they get replaced often. Thus, Sergeant Noblet is glad to have an unfamiliar person to boss around. What do you want here? State your business. I could use some supplies for my journey. I'm sure Shaper Rommel would want you to help me. The thought of irritating Shaper Rommel freezes Noblet's sarcastic reply in his throat. Slowly and resentfully, he leaves and returns with some of his limited stores. He hands you some thorns, a pod, a living tool, and some stale bread. Tell me about your defenses? An interesting, insightful question. Exactly the sort of spy would ask. We have a gate. We have soldiers. We have creations. That is all you need to know, friendo. And you've been able to keep control of your creations? No problems at all. I heard they had some troubles with rogues up in the foundry. No such thing here. That is because of the superior discipline I provide. I'll be going, then. You do that. Nice meeting you, nice talking to you, and so on. Maritav is right through the gates. He walks off, looking for someone to shout at. Yeah, you can say that it's because of, uh... Yeah, we're leaving those be. You can go ahead and say it's because of superior discipline and the like. I say it is because, uh... Oh, that's the way through. We'll go there soon. I say it's because the presence didn't come down here, most likely. Uh, yeah, we can't take anything here, so we're not going to. Oh, well. And that is the way out. Okay, then. Well, we lost Mechan. Oh, well. I would make another creation, a battle creation, but we don't have any. We don't have any training to get one. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, what is down here, anyway? North Mara Road. Okay, we are going to find our way to Mara first. I mean, it's a city. We need a city. Let me just go back into Manala to heal up and sell the few items we got. Okay, then. That's the last of that sold. Uh, yeah. Next episode, we will head into Maritav and make our way to Mera. We need to find our way there, and I'd like to speak with the with Astoria. Speak with her about what's going on. See her side in this war. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44. That is E, King, and, uh... Shurikan, this has been a Gene Forge 5 Let's Play, and I will see you all next time.